Shalom and welcome to another episode in our series called Faith Journeys with God in the Land. Today we're at the Holocaust Museum here in Israel called Yad Vashem. Shalom and welcome to Yad Vashem. This is really not a happy place because Yad Vashem is Israel's Holocaust Museum and Memorial. You can see behind me the picture of this father and his children, a very good example of the grief and the anguish that was experienced by millions of of Jews as they were killed in the Holocaust. Yad Vashem is a name that comes from Isaiah chapter 56. It mentions a memorial and a name. So when we talk about this very sad but significant museum where we are remembering all the six million Jews who lost their lives in the Holocaust. This included 1.5 million children. You know, part of our faith journey is to come to grips with some of the realities of this fallen world as we understand the depth of hatred that the Nazis had for Jews, even to the point of killing 1.5 million children. I'm walking up here to the Children's Memorial, which is really heart gripping as we take a look at how this is represented. The pillars, they're cut off halfway Remember the, the fallen children killed. And then, of course, I can't take this camera through the children's memorial. But this is a chamber where the names of children are constantly mentioned. This is a sad place, and yet we know that as believers in Christ, we are to be concerned with the injustices of the world and this is one of them. Our faith journey places our faith and trust in God who who does understand the depths of hurt and pain. And then, you know, our hearts, our minds can't, can't wrap around the, the fact that this happened. In fact, it's almost hard for me to articulate the, even the reasoning, you know, why would God let this happen type of thing. I, I hear that question all the time. The fallen world in which we live was exemplified over and over and over again when the Nazis killed all of these Jews. Beginning in really 1941 through 42 when mass murder took place. So it's a somber devotion today. But as we consider what perhaps what positive things came out of this Holocaust. Maybe one of them is 
is the fact that 26,000 righteous Gentiles exhibited enough care and compassion for Jews in Europe to either hide Jews or protect Jews, rescue or deliver Jews. You know, we think of Oscar Schindler. Schindler's List is a, a gripping movie. We think of Anne Frank. We think of Corey Ten Boom. I think that's where I'm walking now because there is a avenue of Gentiles displayed here. Only about 2,000 trees here at Yad Vashem representing the names of individuals or families who were responsible for helping hide or deliver or rescue Jews from death. Oscar Schindler saved 1,200. But uh, these trees are planted in their honor. In fact, I'm really glad to see that the museum has made new signs for these righteous Gentiles. So as we walk over to the tree dedicated to Cory Ten Boom, what a, a life of faith she lived. She risked her own life. Her faith journey was real to the point where she was willing to endanger her own life for the sake of others. Here is a tree for Cory Ten Boom. It's actually a newer tree. And yet, uh, here let me try to show you the plaque. There it is. She was faithful to what God led her to do even though it endangered her own life. And as we know the story of her and many, many others who risk their lives. I'm not sure if we'll ever get to that point in our country in America. Perhaps you are listening to this video from another country where there are persecuted people, injustice all around us. So what is our role as faithful followers of Christ? We certainly are to do our part, pray, is a good starting point for those who are experiencing difficulty and even challenge like this death. When God provides, uh, we are to give a helping hand, compassion. You know, Matthew 25 tells us that what you do to the least of these, you do unto me. The whole passage about the separation of the sheep and goats. That's sort of gripping too, isn't it? But here in this avenue of the righteous, even amidst the horrors of the Holocaust, we have this nugget of a good thing that surfaced and I'm glad has been celebrated here at Yad Vashem. All those righteous Gentiles who really risk their lives for the sake of others. So I'm not sure what that means to you in our faith walk. As we, with a somber heart, take a look and visit this museum and walk around this forest of trees that represent those who indeed heard God's call when the opportunity came and served others. So thank God for people like Oscar Schindler and Corey Ten Boom and Anne Frank and again 26,000 others who have been identified for showing compassion and care during World War II.
So maybe even on a small scale, you and I can look for ways to show compassion to those who are in need. That's perhaps a good starting point as we consider our role in God's kingdom. So until next time and from Yad Vashem, Shalom.